Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a quick follow-up on that uh, $9.50 Commodore Vanderbilt that I found on eBay. Now, this thing was in parts, and I bought it just to get the headlight bracket out of it. But I wanted to see if it was uh, possible to get this thing running. So I took it, the motor in on the bench, replaced two of the wheels, uh, replaced the uh, screw in the uh, bottom of the brush plate, and this old locomotive is up and running. Of course, I did have to add a front crossbar to it. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video. And this is why I always stress, don't overlook the junk. Now, I've just got the finials stuck on here. I'm going to repaint this, of course. But uh, I just wanted to make it somewhat complete so I could do a quick video on this. Let me turn the power on. Anyway, as I always stress, don't overlook the junk. So I replaced two of the wheels, a couple of screws, a couple of drops of oil, a shot of WD-40. This is the result. Now let's put this on a consist and see if it will pull. So let's see how this goes. Zoom, zoom, as you see. And this is why I always stress, don't overlook the junk. And this thing was in pieces when it arrived. It's been here, I don't know, two hours, something like that. Even has the original light bulb in it. Pulling a Lionel consists with no problem at all. This locomotive runs absolutely perfectly. So, a couple of screws, two new wheels. All I gotta do is uh, repaint this shell. We've got a really decent Commodore Vanderbilt for $9.50. Plus you have the fun of bringing the thing back to life. As you see, this runs absolutely splendidly. Forward and reverse. I've done nothing to this, really. Replaced two of the wheels, a couple of screws. The rest of it was lubrication, really. Press the two wheels back on, we are up and running. So like I said, I bought this just to get the headlight bracket out of it. But if I can uh, get a motor running, I always try before I gut it for parts. And as you see, in this case, it was worth $9.50. It runs absolutely perfectly. The unit works. It's intact. It's complete. Runs really, really well. So, repaint this shell. You've got a really decent Commodore Vanderbilt for $9.50. It's really difficult to beat that. So, now that it's running, I don't know what I'm going to do uh, for the... Uh, headlight bracket. I bought it just to get that bracket out of it. So uh, we'll see. But uh, if I put the handrails back on it, once this is painted and cleaned up, it's going to look virtually new. $9.50 plus you have the satisfaction of knowing that you've resurrected an old Marx locomotive from the dead. <clears throat> this thing was in pieces. And as you see, it runs absolutely perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it at all. So now it's just a matter of cleaning it up. If you want to repaint it, repaint it. If you don't, run it as is. It's running with no problems at all. So as I always stress, if you have a wheel puller and a wheel press, you can fix anything you can find, anything, if you have a supply of parts. In this case, I needed two wheels, so I went through the wheel box, pulled those out. This old locomotive is up and running with no problem at all. It's running really, really well. And it's only been running for about five minutes or so. So now the longer it runs, the better it will run. So, I will... Uh, Pull the finials back off. Like I said, I've just got them stuck on here. They just snap into the uh, 
little slots. Put the handrails back on it after I paint it, you got it, it'll look virtually brand new. So again, it just reinforces everything I say about these Marks locomotives. Don't overlook the junk. Even if I couldn't have got it running, I had all the parts out of that motor. The shell, all the finials, including the uh, red insert for the front stack, $9.50. It's really difficult to beat that by anyone's standards. And of course, you have the satisfaction of knowing that you fixed it yourself. So, went from a uh, bag of parts to a running locomotive in less than an hour. It's up and running, and now the longer it runs, the better it will run, so I'll run this the rest of the day. Then I'll decide what I'm gonna do with it, and I'm de definitely going to repaint the shell. There's no damage to the shell at all. Just really bad storage for a very, very long time. But as you see, it was worth the effort, and it was definitely worth the money. This is running splendidly. No problems with it at all. Anyway, I'm happy with it. I got the bracket that I wanted. And I also got a running Commodore Vanderbilt for $9.50. So, a, a quick coat of... Uh, Textured black paint. There's a lot of pitting on this thing, so textured black paint is the way to go. Anyway, textured black paint, this thing's going to look virtually new. So I'll do a uh, follow-up video once I get it repainted. Probably won't be for a couple of days. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video of uh, this uh, old Commodore Vanderbilt. I mean, this thing was in pieces when it arrived. And as you see, it is running absolutely splendid. It was pulling 10 Lionel cars with no problem at all. And this is why I always say, don't overlook the junk. Just because something's junk when you get it, doesn't mean it's going to be junk when you're finished with it. Why they pulled it apart, I really have no idea. It had uh, two bad wheels, but... Uh, the front crossbar was missing, so obviously they were going to do something with it. They re uh, removed all the finials, handrails, so I don't know if they were going to repaint it and never did. No idea at all. But as you see, it was worth $9.50. The motor itself is worth that much. The front uh, bracket was, is worth that much. The finials are worth that much. Plus, I got a running locomotive, and I had the satisfaction of literally bringing this thing back from a bag of parts to a running locomotive. So, as I always stress, I gotta say it one more time. Don't overlook the junk. You can do this pennies on the dollar just by doing stuff like this. If you don't mind getting your hands dirty and doing some work, you can get some really decent stuff at a really decent price. So, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com and as always thank you for watching